สวัสดีค่ะ Here we are again, another episode, um, of another one of the favorites. We're gonna do yellow curry. This time, yellow curry with chicken. In the ingredients list here, um, this dish is probably one of the most popular, if not the most popular, curry at at the restaurant in, I guess, serving for 10 years. Um, so, what we're going to be using is course yellow curry paste we're going to be using about four ounces or the same thing as a can and oil coconut milk oil again about four tablespoons coconut milk one can with one can of water one and a half tablespoons of fish sauce and and we like it a little zip in it so what we do is we add a little bit of the um, curry powder and turmeric for a nice orangey yellow, deep yellow type of color. And um, of course chicken, this is carrots, onions, green peppers, and potatoes. Okay, so we're gonna switch up a little bit today and we'll hand it over to the person who did more of the cooking in the restaurant. So, here we go. So again, we fill up the bottom of the pan with oil, it's about four tablespoons or so. And you can see that it covers the base of the pan. Heat up that oil so it can sizzle the curry paste and releasing all that great fragrance. This is a, a step that can be easily forgotten, but this is one of the crucial key steps to make that, that smell and the color of the curry to come out. Because the oil picks up the color and the flavor of the, the aromatics that's released in there, and then it spreads it out throughout the curry. Also, it gives it, um, when you put the coconut milk, you'll see the color, because the color of the the oil, when it separates, it'll be much more orangey yellow color on this one. Even like a yellow curry, green curry, all those, the curry paste, when you release it, you'll, you'll see that color come out when you add the coconut milk. So, we're going to add the turmeric and the curry powder now. And one thing you get, the, because it's a powder, it'll soak up the oil. So, you know, she added about another tablespoon of oil so that, you know, it kind of, the, the oil and the color, I mean, the flavor and the color spreads throughout. Now you'll see when she pours in the coconut milk, you'll see that nice yellow, orangey color kind of comes out into the coconut milk. And then we're going to add one, either the chicken or one can of water, whatever one you want to do. So here we go with the chicken. That's about a half pound. A 
again ingredients it can be adjusted more to your liking if you like a lot of chicken you can add more if you like tofu instead of the chicken you can do that um, now when you get to the fish sauce the fish sauce is like your salt element because most times in, in Thai cooking you hardly will use salt added to the cooking <laughs> So that was just one can of water. So we're going to go ahead now that it's boiling at the potatoes. Carrots. Onions, and bell peppers. So this is uh, about a teaspoon and a half of sugar. Then we're gonna go about a tablespoon and a half of uh, fish sauce. So of course after you taste you can adjust and then for those of you who want to make it like vegan you can um, use like soy instead of the fish sauce or even salt instead of the fish sauce and um, that would be your salt element. Then we're going to just bring it up to a boil after we bring it up to a boil we're going to add this uh, cornstarch slurry to pull, pull it and thicken it. Pull it together and thicken it. Okay, so that was about four minutes that we brought it up to a, kind of a simmer again. And uh, now we're going to add the cornstarch slurry. So you add it to your desired thickness. Like I said, you don't have to add it. But if you do, it kind of pulls it together and then you get a more, um, I guess, more your desired consistency. And the great thing about cornstarch is that um, you don't have to wait for it to cook. Once it comes to a boil, that um, grittiness it just goes away. It's just a much finer powder than a, a flour. If you were to use a flour, it'd take about uh, five to ten minutes to cook the flour. So, once you grind it up to a boil, it's it's done. Not done. So I get to taste now. <laughs> just uh, soft, just a little bit. For you. Mm. Little curry, here you go. Oh yeah, this is uh, very good. Um, the additional powdered uh, ingredients, the curry powder and the turmeric, actually brings up a lot, a lot more flavor in here.
Yeah, got to be good, yeah. Mm. <laughs> she had more practice than I did. <laughs> anyway, um, again, uh, thanks for tuning in. We thank you again and um, hit subscribe. You're going to enjoy it. We got a lot more recipes coming. We got like pad thai coming. We got the glass noodle stir fry, pad wun san. You know, we got the salads and a whole bunch of things coming. So um, hit subscribe, share it with your friends. Visit us on Facebook. If you need any advice, contact us. If you need any kind of um, help getting ingredients, you can go ahead and go on Facebook and message us, contact us. We even got our, a phone number that you can reach us up on there. So until the next time, try cooking Thai. Rodney and Pong. Kokun 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 Kok